back. My name is Patrick, and you're watching the Oilers Rundown. On last night's 32 Thoughts, Sportsnet insider Elliot Friedman reported that the Oilers are looking for a budget forward that can add some toughness to the bottom six. We know they were interested in Ryan Reeves before he was dealt to Minnesota, but I haven't seen any other specific names out there. A player like Zach Sanford of the Nashville Predators, who recently cleared waivers, could fit the bill. He only makes 850000 Or maybe someone like Zach McEwen with the Flyers. He's making 925000 and can play both center and right wing. Despite the Oilers' big win yesterday, we could see two new additions to the Oilers' lineup against Florida tomorrow. Oilers' access on Twitter speculates both Tyler Benson and James Hamlin could be recalled to the Oilers. Neither player dressed for the Condors last night. As the tweet points out, Benson was only on a conditioning stint, so a recall was coming, and Hamlin performed well for the Oilers in training camp before being sent down. Dylan Holloway being sent to Bakersfield was expected, but after scoring his first goal of the season, he may be staying a while longer. Brad Malone and Devin Shore are a couple possibilities to be sent down if Benson and Hamlin are both recalled. Next up, let's head to the rumor mill. In today's rundown, I'm going to take a look at two possible Oilers targets. Kasperi Kapanen of the Pittsburgh Penguins and Max Domi of the Chicago Blackhawks. Tyson, over at Dolany TV, took a look at the trade first proposed by Jonathan Willis of The Athletic that would see Jesse Pugliarvi swapped for Kasperi Kapanen. This is a deal that makes sense for a lot of reasons. Jesse Pugliarvi has a $3 million cap hit for the remainder of this season. Kasperi Kapanen has a $3.2 million cap hit for this season and next, so almost identical salary. Pugliarvi has one goal and four assists for five points in 21 games. Kapanen has one goal and four assists for five points in 13 games. Identical totals, but Kapanen did it in fewer games. Pugliarvi is 24, Kapanen is 26, very similar in age. Pugliarvi plays right wing, Kapanen plays right wing. And a one-for-one -one swap, you almost can't get any more perfect. Their strengths and weaknesses aren't a straight swap, there's no denying that. Fans of Pugliarvi will defend that Yessi does so much more than just provide points, and it's true, he does. But when you look at the bottom line, Yessi is just simply struggling to get points where it matters. Clearly the same goes for Kapanen in Pittsburgh. This is a change of scenery deal that could benefit both players and possibly revitalize their careers. For the Oilers, the concern lies in the fact that Kapanen is signed for an extra year. If he comes in and succeeds, great, but if he doesn't, the Oilers are stuck with a $3.2 million contract they don't want. This is a trade I could see happening, but Ken Holland may also want to stand pat and use Pugliarvi as a trade chip closer to the deadline. A pugliarvi Kapanen trade is intriguing, but if Holland has a bigger fish in mind, he may need to use Pugliarvi in that deal instead. The other player I wanted to look at today was Max Domi. There is no proposed deal out there for him, but he's in Oilers' rumor circles. Domi is off to a strong start with the Blackhawks, he has 5 goals and 9 assists for 14 points in 20 games. He's a left shot center, making $3 million on a one-year deal. Domi could bring toughness and some much-needed offense to the Oilers' top 9, but the $3 million price tag could be an issue for the Oilers. The Oilers don't have the cap space to just send a draft pick back to Chicago. A body would have to move back the other way. I can't see Pugliarvi being of interest to Chicago, and no one else really jumps out at me that would clear enough cap and intrigue the Hawks. I understand the interest in Domi, but I think it's a much harder deal for the Oilers to do. Also, the Oilers are much deeper on the left side. If Domi was a right shot, this deal might hold more appeal. If the Oilers do try and pursue with Jonathan Taze or Patrick Kane down the road, perhaps Domi could be a part of those deals. But for now, I see it as very unlikely to happen. I'm sure a few of you will comment in this video that the Oilers need to focus on the defense. And believe me, I hear you. Over the past week or so, I took a quick look at Jacob Chikrin and Eric Carlson, and both of those deals seem unlikely. The Oilers aren't interested, or no trade clauses come into effect. I'd love to land Carson Soucy, but with the year the Seattle Kraken are having, he's likely no longer on the move. Let's see what happens here over the next few months. A few surprise names could become available. Well, that's all for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts on those players in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel, and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.